Recursion 1 str count. Given a string and a non-empty substring sub, compute recursively the number of times that sub appears in the string without the sub strings overlapping. So let's go over the sample cases first. So first we have cat cow cat. Cat of course occurs two times in this string, so we will return two. Here we have cat cow cat again, except the sub is cow. Cow appears once, so we will return one. And here we have cat cow cat again, except the sub is dog. Dog doesn't appear once in this string, therefore we will return zero. So how will we compute this recursively? Well, one way we can do this is, similar to the previous recursion one problems, iterating through the string and looking out for occurrences of sub. If we do find an occurrence of sub, we will then um, add to the counter and then move on to the next. Because this, is, this says sub strings overlapping, we may not use any characters of that occurrence ever again. So here's what I mean. So for example, if, our, um, if we have A, B, C, D, E, F, A, B, C, and our sub is A, B, C, we will first, um, we will just iterate it through, like I said. So um, let's remember that we will always have to check the length of the sub, um, the, the sub length, um, that amount of characters, um, and though that's the amount we will check for the first characters. So I, that sounds a little confusing, I'm sorry about that. So for example, here ABC is length three. So we will check the first three characters. Um, of course, the first three characters are ABC, and that equals ABC, so we will add one to the counter and then move on to the next. Again, because there's no overlapping, we may not use any of these characters again because we already counted them. So next we have this case. Here we will check again the first three characters. The first three characters are DEF. DEF is not equal to ABC, so we will move on to the next, um, which is EFABC. So here we just took out the first character. We will not be um, taking out any more characters because um, we will be because it may exist here, and we are allowed to use this character. The only time we are not allowed to use this character if is if it was already part of an occurrence, like here. So next we have EFABC, ABC, EFA is not equal to ABC, therefore we will move on to the next, FABC. FAB is not equal to ABC, therefore we will move on to the next. Here we have ABC and ABC. Of course the first three characters are ABC and that equals ABC, so we will add one to the counter, and now we will move on to the rest of the string. The rest of the string is just an empty string, and this, the length of this empty string is of course zero. Zero is, a less, is less than the length of the sub string. If this is true, then we know that this sub will never occur in the string because it cannot fit in there. Therefore, we will automatically return zero. So let's implement that. So here, if the length of the string, str, is less than the length of the sub, then we will return zero because we know that it cannot exist in there if the length is smaller. If this is not true, we will first take the length of the sub. Um, of the sub. Next, we will take the first len characters in str. If the first len characters equals sub, then we will add one to the counter, and then we will, we will move on to the rest of the string. Again, we will skip the first len characters then, because we um because. Since there is no overlapping, we may not use any of these characters again. Um, of course, sub remains the same throughout this entire process. If the first line characters is not equal to first, then we know that um, we just have to move on with the rest of the string. So then we will not add anything to the counter, and we will move on to the next character. Like so. And there it works.